Greetings. This video is gonna be about gamers and how those feminist fucking cunts are shaming gamers. Because I'm sick and tired of hearing that shit. Now, let me just say right off the bat that I'm not a gamer, okay? I have no fucking idea what's the latest console, uh, what's the newest thing in the gaming world. I don't know and I don't really care. However, I do have a lot of history when it comes to video games. Guys, I was there when Commodore 64 was the hottest thing, okay? We used to, we used to play that shit by, you know, putting in an audio cassette with fucking ghosts and goblins and we were playing it and we had a great time. Now, the only place you can find Commodore 64 is in a museum, so I feel ancient while I'm saying this. And I used to love playing video games on arcades, you know, those big boxes and you have to insert the coins so you can play a video game. That shit was great, even though it had like three buttons on it. I played my first Mortal Kombat video game on an arcade. I had Power Glove, even though it sucked, but it still looked cool. Game Boy, you can carry in your pocket, first Nintendo, you name it. I was there for all that. So there's a lot of history with me and video games. However, these days I only got a few video games on my computer and they're nothing fancy, but I still enjoy playing them from time to time. Now there is a reason why I'm telling you this brief history with me and video games. Because I was around long enough to learn quite a few things about it. I watched video games evolve and what's more important, I saw the evolution of gamers. So I want you to keep that in mind. I want you to file that away and we'll get back to that later. Now, today's video games are awesome. They are colorful, flashy, I mean, it's like being in a movie, <laughs> really like being in an actual movie, and, and it's just amazing to see how far it's gone, and, and video games have always been a lot of fun, video games are fun, especially today, I mean, uh, they look better than some movies, they've got better graphic, better music, you name it, so I understand why so many of you guys are hooked uh, on, on video games, the shit is just too much fun. And gamers have always been very passive. They were never an aggressive group. And I dare to say they were too passive because the only problem I ever have with gamers is that every time I try to talk to one of them about, you know, politics or anything besides movies, music or video games, I always get the same answer. Oh man, that shit is boring. That's lame. Or that's gay. I don't want to talk about that shit. It was very frustrating. But the point is, you guys never bother anyone. You know, gamers are usually very quiet and peaceful. They just like to, you know, mind their own business, play their video games, and not giving a fuck about anything else. And it wasn't before Anita Sarkeesian and her fucking gang of feminists came crashing through the door that gamers have actually shown any sign of aggression. And now people that are associated with Gamergate have been labeled damn near terrorists, which is just ridiculous. But unfortunately, that's the world we're living in. Now, why is it that... People who like to play video games are being labeled as um, lazy and not be able to um, get a hold of a woman or get into relationships. I mean, you guys know all the shit you've been hearing for the last couple of years. I don't need to reiterate. And why those fucking feminists even care? Well, it's time to take that file out that I mentioned before because I can tell you with 110% certainty that women don't like video games. They don't give a shit about it, it's not their thing. And when I say video games, I mean, you know, those advanced video games. Not easy ones you can find on the internet, like uh, Facebook or, uh, you know, Zuma-like video games. I'm not talking about that shit, I'm talking about, you know, those real video games that you guys like to play, and that we used to play. I mean, they weren't so advanced, but they were still high-tech for their time. Women never cared about it, because it just wasn't their thing. So you may wonder, why are they so eager to get into the video game industry? And why are they going out of their way to shame you guys, making you look like you're less of men? Well, the answer is simple, money. You see, they're aware of the fact that video game industry generates a lot of money. And, of course, they want a piece of the action. And that's what the likes of Anita Sarkeesian are all about. They don't give a fuck about women, they just want a piece of the money pie. First of all, you guys need to boycott all those companies that are pandering to feminism. And I already explained that in my previous video named Battle Plan. And also it would be great if you can come up with your own network for distribution so that you can create your own video games free of any censorship. But the main point that I'm trying to make is that gamers shouldn't feel bad about themselves. There is nothing that you guys should be ashamed of. You're minding your own business, you play your video games, 
and it's better to actually spend your time playing video games than dating those fucking cunts because let me tell you something you can learn a lot by playing video games you need to learn about computers how they work what kind of you know uh, processor you need uh, graphic card sound card whatnot and when you get all that knowledge you can always use it to make some money you know you can with more skills you can make more money it's as simple as that while while you're dating those bitches not only that you're wasting your money but only thing you get in return is some probably contaminated pussy with god knows how many venereal disease because by the age of 30 they already been run through by at least 20 guys so you know stick to playing video games it's fun it's great you learn more things and never mind what those fucking bitches are saying because who the fuck are they i mean they have they haven't produced anything at least you guys know something about video games at least you guys know something about computers about films about music they don't know shit so there is nothing to be ashamed of about being a gamer it's a cool thing keep playing video games stay away from those fucking cunts and hopefully one day you guys are gonna come together and who knows maybe create your own underground company or studio for making sensor free video games and enjoy the whole experience even more because trust me fellas as somebody who has a history with video games and women i can tell you with 100 percent certainty that it's better to be around video games and play video games than to be played by women